What up, everybody? It's your boy, Agent, coming live back to you. The NFL offseason is already in full swing. But today, as you know, big Pittsburgh Steelers fan, you know. But here, we're here tonight to talk about Pittsburgh Steelers and Ben Roethlisberger. Now, he's coming up on the final years of his contract. There's been a lot of talks and there's been a lot of issues about his contract. What's going to happen with his future? Now, Kevin Colbert... And came out and said, as we sit here today, Ben is a member of the Pittsburgh Steelers. He also went on to say, with Ben's current cap, cap number, some some adjustments will have to be made. Now, Big Ben has the biggest cap hit in the NFL in this 21 season at $41.225 million. Now, Art Rooney already said there's going to have to be some flexibility with that. And I totally agree. Now, a lot, this is going to be a hot take. A lot of Steelers friends are not going to be happy with me. But, hey, it is what it is. I've been on the record saying that Big Ben needs to retire or they need to. If he doesn't want to, he they need to cut him. Even if he takes a bit uh even if he takes the veterans minimum, we'll still have twenty three million against the cap. If he decides to retire, it'll be a little over twenty two million. Forty one point two million two five million is a lot of is a lot of money. In twenty nineteen he signed an extension for sixty a two year extension for sixty eight million dollars. Now at the time I don't know what the Steelers were thinking. We really didn't have a plan. We didn't want to we did not want to offend Big Ben, but every time we add draft the quarterback, even when Mason Rudolph got drafted, Big Ben got upset. And I think the franchise is finally realizing that they have to move forward. We have to move forward without Big Ben, without ups and upset him. Who cares if he gets mad? You have to do what's best for the franchise. Now, some of the options I'm, I've talked about, there's been a, a couple, but the most important is the the new league year starts on March 17th. So something's gonna be something's gonna be done before then. Option one. We can run it back with Big Ben, get him to take a contract, a cut, and try to load up on offense and do a couple of things and load up on the running game and get a good running back, solidify the offensive line, but just go broke, and which I think is the worst option. Option two, we can force him, to, he can have him retire, or we can cut him. Option three is to go with Mason Rudolph for Dwayne Haskins or, and draft a young QB. And I'm going to go with option three, and I think we should give Haskins a look. Now, Mason Rudolph's going to the last year of his contract. Don't think he's the guy because he didn't show me anything. Now, here's a couple reasons why I feel like this should happen. If Big Ben doesn't, if we keep Big Ben and run it back, we're already over the cap. There's really no flexibility, so there has to be a lot of decisions made. Now, the more longer we hold on to Big Ben, the more we're holding the franchise back. And I've been saying this for the last two years now. I do not want this to be an Eli Manning situation. You see what happens to the Giants, and you still see where they're at. I don't think Daniel Jones is the guy. Now look at what the, the Los Angeles Chargers did. They they let Phillip Rivers go, found a gym in Justin Herbert. I know they had a, a really good draft pick, but still, they they made a decision and went for it. And look how good that's turned out for them. Now, there's a couple reasons why. I know we started off 11 and 0. Big Ben notoriously starts off good, but he's inconsistent. We started off 11 and 0 last year, won 12 games. But you see what happened? We got blew out by Cleveland in the playoff game. It's like it's very similar to the Drew B situation. Big Ben's not throwing the ball down the field consistently. Number two, if he took good care of his body like a Tom Brady or a Russell Wilson or a Pat Mahomes or any of the elite quarterbacks in the league, it would be different. He, Big Ben's been known to say he drinks beer in the offseason and does yoga maybe once or twice a week. He does not put the time and the effort and take care of his body. And at that age, you have to you have to be nut about it. Look at Tom Brady. I'm going to keep reiterating him and Russell Wilson. You have to put the time and the money into your body as you get older. And he's not getting any younger, and you see how big he is already at that. Also, anytime we add any offensive power, firepower weapons, Big Ben seems to get offended, like I said before. Like, I'm going to go back to when we had the two killer bees, Le'Veon and Antonio Brown. Now, I'm not going to put that all on Ben. We put up huge numbers, and we did good things. But there's no reason why that team, that offense, shouldn't have got to a Super Bowl and capture something. Got to an AFC Championship game, but we ended up getting blown up by the Patriots. There's a lot of reasons why I wanted to see Big Ben go. 17 years, he's done a great job for his franchise. He's got two Super Bowls and three attempts. He's done all he could for this franchise, but it is time to hang the cleats up. And if he doesn't want to hang it, we have to make the decision let him go. You have to do what's the best for the franchise. Or, like I said, we're already over the cap. TJ's watch has a new deal coming up. He should have won Defensive Player of the Year, but it's a different argument. And no knock to Aaron Donald because he's one of my favorite players in the league. Also, Bud Dupree's a free agent. He his ACL, and that was a big loss to the defense. But... I don't think the Steelers are going to have enough money to keep him. Even coming off the ACL, 
We got the fifth year options coming up pretty soon on, on Minka Fitzpatrick and Terrell Edmonds, which is no brand for me, both of them. Even though Edmonds isn't as good as Minka, but that's a good, nice safety tandem right there. We're getting uh, Devin Bush back next year. I think it's time to just go ahead and go for it now. I don't think I think we don't we're not a Super Bowl team right now with the with the all way the offense was running. You see how terrible we are running the ball. And the biggest needs that need to be addressed in this offseason is getting this cap down. Forget we're gonna do a big bin, but in this draft, we need to go offensive line, running back, corners, tight end. We just need we for sure need to go offensive line and running back. And not in the draft. No, these are things that needs to be focused on. We need to look to the future to move this franchise to get back in the Super Bowl window. We either have we gotta get a bridge quarterback, run with Haskins, and then figure out the options in 2022. As of right now, I haven't really seen any of the hot quarterbacks in the 22 draft. Sam Howell is probably the biggest name right now. But you know guys emerge or whatever. But it's time to move on. It's time to make that step forward. And as hard as it's going to be for all the Pittsburgh Steelers and Pittsburgh Steelers Nation, it is what it is. It has to be done. I'm not going to say it again. So these decisions need to be made. We need to make these hard, tough decisions and say it was nice being we appreciate everything you do for the franchise, but it's, you have to do what's in the best interest for the franchise. And I think Kevin Colbert and Mike Tomlin are finally starting to realize that, along with the support from the Rooney family. So we're going to see what's going to happen, but that's just my opinion. That's my take. You can leave a comment down below. Tell me what you think. Hey, everybody, it's your boy Adrian, and I'm out.